Welcome to another episode of I Shake My Head with Lisa and Sam. Hi, friends of the podcast. Hello, everybody. Samantha. Lisa. How's it going? <laughs> Boy, you know what? Today just took a turn. <laughs> And again, we're off schedule yes. and off time. We're we're totally off time, and I hope your husband doesn't hurt doesn't hurt me. I tell you, he's gonna be like at the door. Well, he's very militant right now. Well, so. he's very protective <laughs> of his wife, right? Because she needs to she needs to be resting and needs to have a snooze and and, and this is your thirty percent. <laughs> It's my 70 30. It's my 30. Right? If you get 30, you want to like live the 30, right? I want to live the dream. I want to live the 30%. For and you sakes. can sleep for the rest of the day. Right? And then 70, and then I'm sleeping. Wake me up tomorrow, right? Oh my God. I'm sure you've got a little pie chart. Friends of the podcast, if we haven't explained what that means before, because of my health condition, I'm on 70% rest. Mm-hmm. 30% activity. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely 30%. It's 30%. I have, I've taken you on the tour of your little, your little, yes, little center of your world yes. here. So now when I do see him, because he's sleeping, so now when I do see him, I have to pretend that I'm like wide eyed and bushy tailed. Right? No, you don't. And you can go have a nap. He won't care. No. He won't care. <laughs> but you certainly, you, you certainly threw a, threw a loop into things. Yes. Well, because I, I was a little bit late. A little bit. You're half an hour late. Okay, it was half an hour late. Uh, and, and I don't think I'm not then, keeping track. Just because we're not going out for a lunch, <laughs> you owe me lunches. I'm keeping track, right? So there's so so by the time November Damn. comes, I just paid for your drink. I, I bought know. you a little piece of pizza. I, know. I got you a snack. So here's the thing: by the time November comes, and I'm like, and I'm at like 100% activity, I'm gonna be like, yeah. So Sam, I will take meals to, for the next six months. Thank you, right? Because you think just because we're still not rewarding bad behavior, just because. Oh, we, Shut we're, up. We're delaying bad behavior. Whatever. That's what we're doing. We're just Whatever. delaying it. I'm just saying. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then I had to go to the bathroom. You had to go pee. And, you and then I, would... I wanted you to pee in the bush. <laughs> no. Like, just pee beside the car. We have napkins. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> nope. And you were like, you were afraid somebody was... You would have done it if you honestly in your heart didn't think I wouldn't have talked about it. I think you would have peed beside the car. <laughs> Maybe. Right? But you knew I was somehow going to bring it up. Yeah, for sure. So we drove to the convenience store. Uh-huh. You went pee. I went pee. And then I smelt their pizza. You smelt their pizza. Because it was Vern's pizza. I know. So, right? So you decided you needed a piece. I needed a piece. So we cut but it But I half. shared. Yes, you did. I, I had shared. a couple bites and it was good. It was good. Right? Because, again, with the diabetes, don't know if you can have pizza. So it was really a snack. Yeah, it was just like two, <laughs> two bites, right? I'll do better tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. Moderation. It seemed like it was in moderation. Moderation. Okay. Here's the thing. I decided last night Mm -hmm. to watch your show because the week before you (laughs) raved about but what's my show 90210 Beverly Hills 90210 right even though they don't (laughs) they don't say the Beverly Hills because they're all grown up BH and I think that's dumb (laughs) but last week you were raving about it right yeah so I decided okay let me watch the you watched the last episode yeah well you know what first off I didn't feel like I missed anything which goes to my whole theory (laughs) dear HHG goes to my whole theory of not having to watch an entire season of something I didn't I knew the characters I understood the plot I didn't feel like I missed a thing no and after half an hour I was done with it. You gave up. I gave up. Way to go. Almost gave up earlier when uh, when uh, Steve was talking to younger Steve. <laughs> Almost gave up there. But I'm like, nope, just tough it out another few minutes. Yeah, there's been flashbacks in every episode Yeah. of like the different characters and yeah, stuff. Yeah, done. It, uh, I hope it doesn't get renewed. It's hilarious. I hope it doesn't get renewed. No, I. you know what? I didn't feel like it ended the way I had hoped it would end, but... The run of it was okay. Mm-hmm. I, I have given it a chance. I'm just saying. You know how I like a little cheese in my life. Well, and God knows that show is bringing the cheese. <laughs> Chock full of cheese. But again, I will say, right, Brian Austin Green, I don't mind. He's good looking. Oh, he's easy on the eyes. You know what? I don't mind Jason Priestley. Uh, no. I don't. I, I don't. don't I've never that. liked Ian. No. Ian. Ian. No. I've never and liked you know Ian. what? Let's just call you. Let's just call you Ian. <laughs> that's what your name really is, right? You're trying to be different. <laughs> I don't right? know why. And I don't know why. It's not working for you. Just be Ian there. But it yeah. was it was funny when he was telling his younger self, burn the the half top. The half top. The crop top. Yeah. Burn the crop top. Get rid of the, the mullet. The mullet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, good advice. But solid, uh, solid I advice. I read an article that the mullet's coming back. Oh, don't. No, I'm serious. I read it that it's coming back. No, it shouldn't. No, it never should. No. It should not no. come back. Not for wrong women. To begin with. Not for men. No. Right? Not for anybody. Not for anybody. No, not for anybody. Uh-uh. No. Okay. No. Lisa? Mm-mm-mm. I need a report. 
Okay. How's the bed sore? Don't call it a bed sore. Call it a pressure point. Sorry, pressure point. If you call it a bed sore, then it means a nurse didn't do their job right. <laughs> and I'm not implying that. Right? I'm not implying that. But we all want to know, how's it going? Okay, so here's the deal, Samantha, right? It was a bit of an interesting week with the bed sore. Uh Uh-oh. Right? Because, as you know, my goal is to sit in my chair. Yes. Right? So even right now, sitting in Betty, I can sit in Betty fine. It doesn't bother me. Right? It only bothers me in my chair. So the on on Monday the home care came and they changed it uh-huh. and for the rest of Monday I could sit in my chair. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Odd. Odd. And then not so much on Tuesday. <laughs> like I abused it. It's like I oversat or something. You oversat. It's like I oversat. Which you know what? Let's be honest, right? In my life, I have oversat lots. <laughs> so, but it's uh, never caused you pain. It's never caused me pain. It's never taken away the joy of sitting in the chair. No. <laughs> so I actually had thought that I had like turned, turned. Oh, you turned a corner. I thought I had turned oh. a corner. I don't think I did. No. No. Are you right back where you right thought you were? Right back where I am. Right. Still, it hurting like a son of a bitch. And, um, that's funny. Yeah. But you know, what was really interesting though, is that, so as, so as you know, I get home care three times a week. Right? Yes. So, so on Wednesday it was bring a new student to work day. Really? Yeah. And I guess. So that, someone else gets to see you in all your glory. <laughs> and I get that everybody's got to learn their job. Right. But I'm not sure if I want to be the, if I want to be the student. Nope. Right. Nope. So because it's longer, uh-huh. it takes longer. Yeah. Because and then as you're lying there in all your glory, and here's the thing, right? Is that is that like I can't avoid taking my top off. Yeah. I can't avoid and then taking my pants off. <laughs> right. So so you're really seeing all the glory. You're seeing all the goods. Right. <laughs> And they're not that good right now. Right? <laughs> they're not in working condition. No, they're not. No. So, but you're seeing it. And, and then, then you're talking over me. Like I'm not there. Oh. Because you're teaching a course. Yes. Right? And I'm just like, how about just let me do it? Cause I've seen it done enough times now, right? I think I could probably figure it out. <laughs> That's not your job. It's not my job, right? So, oh, I was just yeah. like, when they phone, they phone, they give you like a half an hour notice. Oh no. And they're like, yeah, so it's, I don't remember their names. So it's Sally and Chrissy and we're going to be, and I'm like, why is there two? Why is why there two? Is there why two? is there two? Why is there two? Right? <laughs> God, and they both were brand new. So two brand new people seeing me in all my glory, oh. seeing all my bits and my parts. You know, it's too bad that you can't get the same person, though. Well, I, I think because there's such a demand, mm. right? So that's fine, right? I'm fine with Randy. I'm fine with Arnold, right? I'm fine with Kim. But then you start throwing, and even Tracy, right, who I worked with, <laughs> right, who worked with us. That was so funny, right? Yeah. Tracy Rogers. Hi, you're going to see all my parts. And... Uh, <laughs> But but I wasn't so much fine with a, with the with being like the teaching person. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't love that. Well, you can tell them that you feel uncomfortable with that. Well, it doesn't matter, right? Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Well, here's hoping. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Right? Here's hoping. Okay, but you know what is exciting? What? Because somebody taught her really well. Huh. Bianca. Yes. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Andrescu. Andrescu. She, the North. She is awesome sauce. Hashtag she the north. Hashtag yay Canada. Right. Canadiana. Yes. So friends of the podcast, if you're not sure what we're talking about, we're talking about the Canadian that beat your American, (laughs) Serena Williams, in the... U.S. Open tennis yeah. final, and don't get me wrong, I'm a Serena Williams fan, yes. and I didn't think Bianca, I didn't think she was gonna pull it off. I'm like, there's just no way. <laughs> Serena Williams is like, she's like, like an animal. She's a beast. She's at the top of her game. She has been for like 35 years, mm-hmm. I think, yeah. and and she's like number one for a reason. Yep. Right, but boy, that kid, that teenage kid, she did good. She did good. I'm like, very proud of her. Like, let's hope. She can keep it up. Yeah, that'd be great, right? And then she did all the shows. Yeah, like she did Jimmy Fallon. She did. Uh, she did Kelly and Ryan. Well, you know what I thought was a little bit. I didn't enjoy Kelly and Ryan because they had her sitting at the table, oh. and they didn't do a special like they sit in their two chairs and someone is sitting in their chair, yeah. like a like an interview kind of type oh, thing. Okay. And I thought, you know what? You should have respect for someone who just beat Serena Williams. So she was just there. Because they just brought her out and they, because you know how they, at the beginning, they sit at the table yeah. and they do the little spiel. Yeah. They like brought her out with her big, with the big trophy. Yeah. 
and then they just sat her down beside them at the table oh. instead of making it more of an interview thing. Oh, and really? I th- and I felt, no offense to anyone else, but yeah. I felt that they disrespected her a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean... And her achievement. Yeah, absolutely. That's like, a- she just won over yeah. somebody who's ranked, like you said, number yeah. one. Yeah. And I think you should have treated her with a little more respect. And the funny thing is, is that last year, she didn't even qualify. No. She was like... Ranked 153, and now she's ranked number five. Jimmy Fallon, he did funny bits with her. Oh, did he? Yeah, right. And she taught him how to like a whole special way to catch a racket and all this cool <laughs> stuff. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, I mean, like it's so so cool. It's, it's very. I I'm like congratulations. That's a big big achievement. It's a big deal, right? It's a big deal. I hope she can keep it up, and I hope she becomes just, like like just blows everybody away. There's no reason why she can't. Right. Good kid. Apparently, her parents were pretty cool. Oh, were they? And they brought their dog. Oh, to the to the game. To the game. Meghan Markle was there. Yes. Because apparently pissed off the. No, well, pissed off come the queen. On, right. The thing is, is that because she didn't go to the Highland Games. She didn't go to the Highland Games, and and she probably should have gone to the Highland Games, yep. right? Yep. So I think that's where the issues come in, going to come in with Meghan. Yeah. Is is I think she wants both lives. So. Mm. And I get that, right? Yeah. And, and but then on the other hand, too, Serena's her BFF. Yeah. So yeah, like if you were playing in the U.S. Open, Samantha, <laughs> right, and you're you're in the championship, I'd be torn. I'd be like. <laughs> Oh, do I appease the queen? Right? Because I'd be thinking I could probably catch next year's Highland Games, Liz. Hopefully you're around for them, right? But 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 Sam might only be this year in, in the U.S. in Open. the U.S. Open. Yeah. So I kind of get it, but I kind of uh-huh. don't. Right? Which brings me to an interesting thing that I've been wondering about lately. Mm. Do you think the royal family sits around in comfy clothes? No. You don't think so? No. But you don't think like Prince William puts on his plaid pajama pants at the end of the day? I think he's in his own room in his plaid pajamas. Really, but nobody. I don't think he's strolling through the halls of the house. You don't think so? No, I don't think he's doing that. Of the palace, no, 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 no. See, I think that they might. No, I don't think they. Like I think of myself, and I'm in like a pair of pajama bottoms. And a no, tank top. No. Like you don't think that like <laughs> they're in their robes strolling. Like no. Kate's not like no. going to get a snack. And no. She's in her no. no. And like Liz isn't like no 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 no. <laughs> really? Yeah. You think they're still properly looking? Yes. Like till like my belt is on till the minute I go to bed. I believe that I it wholeheartedly. Really? Yes. I think that needs to change. And and the fact that people still don't wipe their ass for them. It's well, surprising. That ended, right? That did end. The royal ass wiper is gone. They can wipe their own ass. And I think it only ended with this last royalty. Um, but really, like, like, see, I just see, like, William, no. like, coming home after a long day and putting on his pajama bottoms and hanging out. Sweatpants. Sweatpants and T-shirt and, like, his Nike T-shirt. and. No! No? You don't see that. Right? And just, Not at all. Like, I think the comfiest those people would probably get is a pair of jeans. And that's like, so come home from whatever and put on my comfy jeans. Yeah. Which makes no sense And whatsoever. the woman might be lucky to like get away with like a cute little like athletic outfit. You think so? Maybe. Maybe. Or a comfy if dress. It's, if it's not too <laughs> fitted yeah. or something. I just see Kate, maybe Kate Middleton's like in a dress all the time. It's very possible. Like taking her pantyhose off early. Oh, good God. I don't know. Ugh. It's crazy. I was thinking about that the other pantyhose. day. Pantyhose. I saw an article, Samantha, and this bothered me greatly because I don't really remember what the show was about, that they're doing a reboot for the TV show Mad About You. It can't be good. No. Because I don't do even it. remember. No. Because it was it was uh, with people I don't remember. Helen, Helen Hunt, Hunt and Paul Reiser. Paul Reiser. I remember And it was that. a couple living in New York. That's all I remember. That's all I remember, I don't remember too. what, and I watched the show. Yeah. But I don't remember anything about the show. No. And I think, don't. Don't reboot. No. Don't reboot what people don't know. No. Well, because this is how I felt about 90210. And then I liked it. Yeah, but it. then you liked it, <laughs> which makes no sense. So here I am going, no, don't bring it back. But you know what? If they bring it back, I might I might like it. I don't if, think I know? will like it because I think I'll be like, why did you? I think I'm mad at it, actually. You're mad at mad about you? I think I'm mad, at, mad <laughs> about you because don't, right? Cause you're forgotten Ooh. about. It's been 25 years. You're yes. forgotten. Right? Oh, it's been a long time. Yeah, like you're forgotten. We don't need you back. Yeah. Right? We don't need you back. We don't need a re- We just don't need it. Don't do it. Uh Uh-uh. Don't do it. No. (laughs) No. But speaking of reboots Uh and shows. Yes. The fall stuff, it's uh, ramping up next week, Kate. Well, I know, right? We next got, week, week after. No, the week after. We still have two weeks. Oh, we still have two weeks. Yeah. I just saw the preview for September 24th for my This Is Us. (laughs) I'm going to watch it again. (laughs) 
I'm going to watch it again. Are you now? Yeah, because okay. I'm invested. Yes. In crying. Okay. Right? Because it, it You're didn't. You're hoping that you will. Right? Because it didn't make me cry last season. Lisa won. This is us none. <laughs> right? So we'll see what season two brings. Okay. Yeah. Well, I saw the the little ditty for Amsterdam. That looks good. Do Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. One of them survives. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, and the good doctor. I saw something Yay. for that. And all of Chicago is coming I think back. that's the whole week. Because you know how I feel about Chicago Fire. I know, but will you give it a chance this year? I don't know. Just, no, it was way different last year. You know what I feel, though? What? This is what I feel about watching TV now. Okay. I'm going to PVR it. Well, we'll have because I want to fast forward through the commercials because yeah. now I got zero patience. Well, because we did that last year, remember? We would PVR because it's like ah, uh, I know it's on now, but even let's get a half hour head start. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have was... to get our timing all right. Yeah, because it's just like oh my god, the commercials suck. I know, but but the weird thing is, so last year we introduced New Amsterdam into the lineup. There is there anything? Oh, there is a couple of good shows. I haven't seen any. There is one called Evil. So if you want to get scared, that's probably a good no, one. I don't want because they're talking about evil things no. uh there's one called the good son his father is a serial killer you might enjoy that oh, one, i haven't actually. seen that you have i haven't what? seen an ad for that okay well i'm telling you now the good son it's called the good son huh. or no prodigal son the prodigal, prodigal son. son okay yeah so his father goes to jail yeah. they've got him in this weird sort of like idea of um what's his face from the show The Silence of the Lambs. Okay. They've got him in like a cage, oh. but he has like stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's okay, weird. Don't give it away. Okay. I'll think but about no, it. No, I, I, that's all I've seen. I'll think about it. Okay, but I've been at home and I've been oh, watching. Oh, there's one called Stumptown? No, I don't. She's that, a woman P.I. You know what? I hate the title. Stumptown. <laughs> sounds stupid. Stumptown. Or it sounds like a song. <laughs> right? Like Gangnam Style. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That's what it sounds like. Stumptown. <laughs> Right? It sounds like a rap song, <laughs> Samantha. Not watching a show that it's sounds like that. Stumptown. No. Okay. Not watching it. Just based on that principle. Well, because it sounds like it could be a Bruce Springsteen song. <laughs> right? It just, right? Yeah. <laughs> just, no, it doesn't work for me. Well, there, I don't know. And what happened to um, The Blacklist? Oh, it comes on later. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't get mixed up with all the new stuff. And then and then we have all the stuff with the blacklist. No, right? don't start. I'm just, don't start with the bones. Uh, all well, the bones are coming back. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. Don't. It's going to be a I don't. Point. I don't need to have this in my life right I'm now. I'm just saying, right? <laughs> you brought it up. I'm just saying. You, you know what I don't need to have in my life? Because I'm watching TV a little bit more than what I probably should. <laughs> I don't need to have Twitch dancing on Ellen anymore. I'm over Twitch. Really? Yeah, be the DJ. Stop your ridiculous dancing. I get that he can dance. Everybody knows. He was on World of Dance. You can dance. Look at me. I'm dancing. He was on all those shows. I get it, right? He was on So You Think You okay. Can Dance. So You Think You Can Dance, right? All those shows he did. I get it. Right? Oh and I get God. that he's really, really good. Yes, he is. Right? But the thing is, is that well, he just looks ridiculous when he just, like, does a stupid dance. You need to watch it. I feel like you're jealous. I feel this is jealousy. I can... Uh, hi. No, you can't. You haven't... Well, I can't right now, but you <laughs> haven't seen me. You haven't seen me in prime dance mode. You don't know, right? If nothing else, right? Maybe I've there learned... There is no prime dance right? mode. Maybe I've learned some dance moves from the HHG. She's got some dance moves. Are you kidding? Right? You see her out in the club. All right. With the kids. She's All got right. some moves. But that's the thing is I'm just kind of... I'm really over Twitch dancing on Ellen. Then don't watch it anymore. No, just take it away. I, I, you put it in the suggestion mm. box. I'm gonna put it in the suggestion <laughs> box. I'm gonna have to maybe send a message or a tweet or something. Uh, I like him as a DJ. Just be a DJ. Okay. Yeah. You don't want him to be multifaceted. I don't think it makes any sense. I don't know what it's adding. People used to like Ellen dancing uh -huh. because that was Ellen's thing. Yeah, but now she doesn't do that anymore. Right. So, so. Why do you got to bring on somebody who does? Now maybe know. you just have no dancing. I don't know. I'm just done with Twitch. That's okay. all I'm saying. All right. Bye-bye, Twitch. Okay. But I feel you're obsessed about something. Okay. Because you posted it on Facebook. Ah, I did. <laughs> are, you, are you missing TV dinners, Lisa? You know what? I always <laughs> miss TV dinners, Samantha. Because they're never good for you. No. They're never, ever good for you. Doesn't not matter. at all. Like, not for anybody. Nope. But... Do you not remember them? Yes. Like, remember as a kid? Yeah. And did you not love them? Yes. Like, what I found what I found on the yeah. Facebook is that everybody, more people like the chicken. Yes. I wasn't the fried chicken fan. 
I'm always the Salisbury steak girl. You're, yes. Right? You're always about the fake hamburger. Always about that. And then I also like the turkey. Oh, the turkey one's not bad. Yeah. But I would have, I personally probably would gravitate towards the chicken myself. Like, did you eat those as kids? Not as often as some, I yeah. think. Like, we didn't eat them often, but sometimes my, my mom and dad were going out for supper. Yeah. My mom would like, and that's when you had to put them in the oven. Yeah. Because they were tin foil. That's, and they took like an oh, hour to cook. Right. Remember they were in a tin oh foil plate? Oh my God, plate? yes. And they did. They took like an hour, right? <laughs> they took forever to cook. Yeah. Because they were like. That's so funny. Frozen solid in your old, in your old uh, oven. God, what we had to endure. I know. Before technology. Before you could plop it in the microwave. Zap the crap out of it. Zap the crap out of it. <laughs> but to me, one of the big deciding factors always was the uh, dessert. Okay, because somebody mentioned cranberry... Apple cobbler. Apple cobbler. That's a good one. Yeah, eh? that was a good one. <laughs> and, and you can get, like, usually with the Salisbury steak, usually is the chocolate... Brownie. Chocolate brownie. Mm-hmm. And I like the cobbler better. Yeah. Like, the cobbler should be, I think, in everything. It should be. I don't know if there was ever a third, if it was just always the two. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think, I don't remember anything other than those two. No, me neither. Hmm. And, and, and those potatoes were to die for, <laughs> right? You put a little extra butter, <laughs> and those creamy, fake, fake potatoes, potatoes, like the type that they eat in space, <laughs> those were to die for. <laughs> Only time you would ever, like, remember when you used to be able to buy, like, the box of potatoes that were, like, flaked, and your mom would, like, yeah. make them, and then you'd be like, I'm not touching those with a 10-foot pole. Only if it's in a TV dinner will yeah. I eat those. Exactly. Yeah. That's funny. Right? And the corn with a little too much water in it, because, right, it was frozen at one it's time. Frozen, yeah. And one of them had peas. Yes. And one of them had beans, too. Ew. Yeah, yeah. one of them had wax beans. I remember that. Nope. Not a fan. I didn't love that as not much. But they always had the potato. Hmm. Yeah. You know what this made? When you when you posted the yeah. TV dinner thing, for some reason, even though I don't think we ever had TV Because I think it was National TV Dinner Day. Day yeah. yeah. But it reminded me of Sunday nights mm. and eating, being able to eat dinner in front of the TV because on Channel 12, CBC, yeah. was Disney. It was, yeah. The, the Disney Wonderful movie, World of Disney. The wonderful, wonderful World of Di- which they don't do anymore. Well, The Wonderful World of Disney. And I'd like to think we're probably a little too old for it now. No, I would love that. I would not. No, I would. Uh, and I remember that would be our, our one special thing we got in the week was yeah. we got to sit down, eat our dinner in front of the TV watching the movie. Yeah. Well, it would depend. We didn't. It depended on how much, how big of a supper it was. Oh. Yeah. No, it was always like My mom made Polynesian pork chop, <laughs> right? Everybody had to sit at the table because 27 people happened to come by for supper. Polynesian pork chops. Right? She made the Polynesian <laughs> pork chops, and then you had to clean up, so you were missing Disney, right? Oh, my God. Oh, We get my. so fancy with our food now. Sometimes you just miss a good old meatloaf. Yeah. You know? Like, just a basic meatloaf. Yeah. Nothing wrong. Just Don't basic get, food. Yeah. Like, I went over to Mom and Dad's for supper the other night. Yeah. Dad's homemade um, spaghetti sauce. Yeah, something like that, right? That's all I need, man. Yeah. Don't right. get crazy. Don't get all fancy. No. Don't get all fancy. We don't <laughs> keep the Polynesian pork chops for the company, right? <laughs> keep them for another day, right? We don't need that fancy food. Yeah. But here's the thing is I'm a little bit sad. I know. Like, I'm really... I already know what you're going to talk I'm about. I'm really, really sad. Can I just say something? Yeah. You talk about it a lot. I know, because <laughs> I'm really sad about it a lot. I can't just shake being sad. Right? And you know what? You shouldn't ask me to just shake being sad, thank you, because I'm trying to work through it. So... <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to laugh. No, but I can tell. Tell them what you're working through, Lisa. <laughs> Apple juice. <laughs> And how there's no good apple there's juice. There's no good apple like, juice. Like, for diabetics, there's no good apple juice. No. Like, you, like, but yet have chocolate milk. Well, not not processed chocolate milk. You have to make your own at home. Whatever. With cocoa and uh, the sweetener. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's good milk. Not making that either. I know. Right? <laughs> but all I want is a good <sighs> apple juice. I know. My my mother-in-law went to the grocery store and looked at every apple juice. I bet you she did. She emailed. There's no good one. There's no good one. So I'm still having a little bit every day. Yeah. Because in moderation. <laughs> right? But but yet I can eat apples. I know. Which makes no sense. I know. So now I'm peeling apples and I'm cutting up chunks of apples. And Mike's like, wow, you're like really enjoying apples. I'm like, get more apples. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like an apple oh my fiend. God. Like I've never eaten apples in because my life. You're, they've taken away your joy, so you have to seek it somewhere so I else. Have to seek it somewhere else, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. I feel, and you know what? Here's the thing, Smith. I feel like I'm cheating on apple juice. No. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating on it. Stop it. I feel like I'm having an affair with apple. Right? 
You know, they're they're like kissing cousins. Right? I know, right? So I feel a little creepy, <laughs> right? Because I'm keeping it in the family. Oh my god! Yeah, they're related, but um, yeah, super sad. And I'm ha- sorry. And happy about apples. I know, but this this is r- wrecking your world it's... because you did enjoy a good apple juice. That's my drink, mm-hmm. right? And I don't think I overdrank it, Lisa. You okay? Let's go on the record. You don't drink anything to the end. I don't. You drink a quarter. Yeah. If we're lucky, it's a half. Like this Gatorade Zero that I bought, that's going to last me four days. It probably right? It's going to last me for four days. It's like you just don't drink. You don't finish any drink. No. I know. So if someone were to give you a tiny little bottle of apple juice, yeah. that would last you probably for three days. Yeah. Right? Like I would be really, really good with it. So maybe we can make an exception, dear diabetes. Maybe we could just make a little exception for Lisa. <laughs> probably not, though. Uh, probably not. Probably not. So because I'm frustrated with that, I want to learn how to tie-dye. Okay. What does apple juice and tie dyeing something have anything to do with each other? I just want some joy. And oh, I, yeah. and I, <laughs> well, and, you do. And I love tie dye. Yes, you do. And I want to make some tie dye clothes. <laughs> you do it. I'm not touching it. Well, I think we can like DIY it or something. No yeah. way. Yeah. And I think we can Google it and like I like you don't even need you don't need a glue gun or anything like no, that to I do it. No, I know. So I think and you twist it and I'm good with a twist. <laughs> And, right? <laughs> and you just take colors. Oh. I think you just take, like, food color or something. It's not and food And water. Color. It's not food color. It looks like food color. It's, I th- I think it's just... <laughs> it's clothing dye, you dummy. Oh, I thought. I think... Well, I don't know. The type I'm going to make is probably just, like, I'm going to do it a little differently because I like to do things... So what do you want to start out with? Like, a white tea towel and see how that goes? Yeah, maybe. Something like that. And all like of a sudden, your, like, apartment is, like, reminiscent of a 70s home yeah, or something. Yeah, like, retro, right? <laughs> And then the next thing you're sitting on a cushion with a hookah pipe. Right. <laughs> Smith, if that's what I need, if that's what I need. And you're the smelly neighbor. And I'm the smelly neighbor, right? All in, but I'll be in my tie-dye, so it'll be okay. Sitting on your cushion. Isn't that... <laughs> well, maybe. Oh, my God. I don't know. The picture in my head. Oh, my God. Are you going to grow out your hair? No, never. I you're going to have this big poofy I hair? I could just buy a wig or something <laughs> and put it on for special occasion. Right? But I love tie dye oh so much that I want to learn how to do it. Oh my god. Like, I'm not committing to this. It's like an arts and crafts. If you can get Michelle to commit to this, I'll I see. might consider I'll it. I'll see. So, and speaking of Michelle, right? So the HHG is back. Yes. She's back from her vacation. Back. But she is, like, her. she has not adjusted to the time. No. No, she's tired, tired, tired. All the time. Yeah, so I don't got a whole lot of new things to say about her because she's just sleeping. <laughs> right? She's like sleeping at five, working and sleeping at five. Oh. I know. That sucks. I know. She'll get used to it. I, I don't understand it, but. Next week. You think that's. Maybe. Then then we'll have some Michelle stories. A little turning point. To HHG. She'd yeah. be back. She'd be back. She'd be back in full swing. Um, but guess what I watched? What? And only watched 10 minutes of it. What? Because I felt awkward. Oh. The Kelly Clarkson oh, show. I watched a whole <laughs> Kelly Clarkson show and couldn't believe it. It's not good. I don't. Which one did you see? Really what what was she wearing the day you saw her? Okay, I watched the one with Dwayne Johnson. It was like the okay, first one. Okay, I didn't see that one. Okay, and so... It hasn't gotten better. No. I've seen I've no. seen three of them now. I'm just wondering if somebody coached... Somebody should have coached her. Problem is, did she start off singing a song? I think I think that's how she's going to start off her... Yeah, that's and awkward. Then she, and she ends in karaoke. Yeah, so, so that's awkward, right? Her <laughs> singing somebody else's song, and I get right, somebody from the audience picks the song, yeah, and then she sings yeah. it, and that's endearing, Yeah, but it's weird. <laughs> Right, because who cares? And, oh my God. and 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 it opens with with I swear to God, it's Ellen's set. Well, it's I mean, but it's, it's not no because it's like reminiscent of her home, like it's got yeah. guitars and Nashville kind of esky it's, country um, stuff. She's awkward. I yeah. don't think she's found her pocket. I don't think there is a pocket. No, no, I don't think she's found her pocket. I don't think she has a pocket. Yeah. No, I think um, interviewing uh, was weird. I think she's not good. I think, you know, it was really funny. You should try and Google the Dwayne Johnson one. Because okay. I think that's her first episode. Yeah. And he was on it. And as soon as they panned to his face yeah. and they showed his face, you could tell he was thinking, she doesn't know what she's doing. Oh. She doesn't know what she's now doing. Now she's on this big thing to get Meryl Streep. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because that's her idol. No. No, I think she just needs to stay on the voice. I don't know. No, and she's too boy. She's too loud. Hey, she's, she's very too, loud. She's too out there. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Mm, 
No. Yeah. No. And I, I don't know. And I thought you'd be disappointed because... No, I love Kel- Kelly Clarkson is... Like, I still like her. Yeah. And I get why they think they can. she can do a show yeah. like this. Yeah. Because she's very boisterous and... Yes. But she's, you still... She's too much. You, you still have to have a knack for talking to people. And she and, uh, and getting, like, the big, the good no. tidbits out no, of them. it's all bad. And I don't think she... Because ha- Ellen has that. Yeah. People come on her show and tell her stuff all the time. Yeah. And nobody wants to talk to Kelly. That's what that's what's I happening. I don't know. But, okay, but here's some controversy. What? I don't know if you've heard about it. No. Mrs. Monopoly. What? So, you know the Monopoly game? Yeah. Okay, so they've changed it. There's a new version, right? They have a, you know, the Mr. Monopoly. Okay. They have a Mrs. Monopoly. Like a separate game called Mrs. Monopoly? Yeah, well, they have a Mrs. Monopoly. In the Mr. In the Monopoly game? Yeah. So, but what they do now in this is that, you know how when you play Monopoly, you get $200 for for going for every time you go past yeah. go. Yeah. Women, if you're female and you play, you get $400. <laughs> They're trying to make it this woman's <laughs> equality thing. And, oh, my God. There's uproar. And I agree. Oh right? God. Just keep the Monopoly the oh, Monopoly. Because you know what? We all start off at zero. Yes. We all have the same opportunities. Oh, my goodness. So it's not the place to start trying to teach the lesson of in women's game. Live in a game. Of Monopoly. Of Monopoly. Right? I don't think it's necessary. It's not the place. No. It's not the place. Why do they got to ruin the basic stuff? Just leave it alone. Not everything has to be (laughs) women's women's rights. The Monopoly game, everybody gets $200. Isn't that equality? Well, I know, but now they think because women are underpaid, that's their whole thing. Not in Monopoly, everybody gets the same stuff. Right? Everybody's equal in Monopoly. It's how well you play the game, people. And the thing is, is that there is no division. Of, of of characters because you're a boot, you're an iron, a car, a car. Like it doesn't matter. A dog, I think. I think you might be a dog, right? Like I think it doesn't matter. No, the iron doesn't care. No, the iron doesn't no, care. No, boot doesn't care. The boot doesn't care if you're male or female, right? <laughs> no. They just love. They They're just inclusive, <laughs> right? So Monopoly is not a sexist game. No. And they just made it that. They just made it That's sexy. sad. I know. Isn't that crazy? That is so sad. I know. Jimmy Kimmel was talking about it, too. And I'm like, I hear you, Jimmy. Yes. That is ridiculous. It's crazy. I'm, ugh. I know. Okay. Stop. I know. Okay, Betty, you know what? You need to stop. What? Don't care about bouillon. What is it? Don't care about it. I just it. wanted to know, what is bouillon? It's what you use when you're making, like, a soup or a stew. What is it, though? It's like a cube of, like, spices. Why, why is it in a cube? I don't know. Is it thick? No, it's a cube. It's like a hard cube that you dissolve in water. Okay, but why? <laughs> like you put it in water and then you pour that water in. Like your- if you want to, if you need a chicken stock but you didn't actually have the chicken stock, uh-huh. you could use a bouillon cube that's chicken stock. Yeah. And drop it into water, and all of a sudden, poof, is chicken stock. And then you dump that on your chicken. No, you make soup out of it or stew or. So a cube makes you soup. A cube makes it flavored. Like flavored chicken. water. Yes. So like a hot chocolate package. <laughs> right? Like I take my hot chocolate and I pour I it in water. I can't explain this too because you don't cook. Is that what? <laughs> is that the same type of thing? And then all of a no. sudden my water tastes like chocolate. Yes, I guess. Oh, oh my God. Why do you care? I, because I saw a commercial. <laughs> and then I'm like, what is bouillon? Okay, this is it. You either start learning how to fucking read. <laughs> or watching, start, well, start watching a lot of TV. <laughs> start watching some other shit. Right? Get back into sports. It's so much better when you were watching sports. Go back to the news loop. <laughs> <laughs> Could you please just get reinvested? <laughs> now I just see things and I'm like, hey, what? I wonder what bouillon yes, is. Yes, I know, but now I'm having to like explain. Explain shit that you should already know. Yeah, but it's like you didn't know. I didn't know. And it's been around for decades. Hmm. Decades. Weird. Your mother probably used it. I don't know. My mom, my mama, she cooked from scratch. Oh, God. She's not using yes. something to make the water. She's not making chicken soup out of make the water taste good. <laughs> That's what she's not doing. That's, oh, my she God. She wasn't making water taste. Oh, okay. The only thing that went in water would be like the tang or something the like tang. that. Yeah. The, tang. the only thing going in the water was the tang. All right. Yeah. Okay. Or maybe a little bit of the whiskey. Uh-huh. Right? Those two things. Okay. So, you know how I have an issue with glass glasses? Like, the lenses? No. Like, the glasses that you drink out of. Oh, we're... T- okay. Because I thought you were talking about eyeglasses. Uh-uh. I'm talking about glass glasses. Okay. Yeah. Glasses versus plastic? Yeah. So, glasses are eyeglasses. Glass glasses are glasses. <laughs> okay. You got it? 
Glass glasses or yes, glasses? Got it. Okay, so glass glasses. <laughs> so I have an issue with glass glasses. Why? Because I don't, I'm not convinced that they get clean. I don't think the quality is what they used to be. I think glass would be cleaner than plastic. Oh my God, that's what people say, but how can that be? <laughs> because it's easier to clean glass than it is to clean plastic. Because sometimes the, the whatever you drank yeah. can get seeped into the plastic. Yeah, but. And it holds on to that flavor or that weirdness or yeah, that Yeah, but then gunk. Clio is hot soap and water. Mm -mm. I think glass is better. But don't you find that glass glasses nowadays, they aren't, they're not. I want you to keep saying that, but I want you to say it faster. Glass glasses. <laughs> so I don't think they make glass glasses as as good quality as what they did back in the day. So I don't think that they're as good. How do you know? I can tell. You can tell. I can tell. When I look oh at glass God. glasses today, when I look at glass glasses, I'm like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. That's not it's a good. Then it's gonna break. It's gonna it's break. brittle. It's brittle. It's you know I can buy ninety two for ten dollars. Right there's a problem right there, Smith. Ninety two. Yeah. For right there's a problem. Right there when the Walmart's selling ninety two of them for ten dollars in a box. Oh, yes. Right. That uh -huh. means that they're not good quality glass. Okay. So are you saying that we need to go back to the seventies for good glass? Yeah, I think so because I I prefer plastic. And I just wash with like hot water and soap. You and your husband drink like from the Dixie cup things. No, not anymore. <laughs> we did that a long time ago. We don't drink. We still have some on hand, right? Because <laughs> we were having issues, uh -huh. right? Because he didn't like plastic and I don't like glass glasses. Uh -huh. Yeah. So are you? Do you have like a cupboard that holds half and half? No, we have a cupboard that has like four glass glasses and like four plastic glass glasses. Yeah. You get more than four people. You're screwed. And two mugs, <laughs> right? And two mugs. That's all we got. That's all. That's we okay, because I'm like seriously ready to revert to one mug, one plate, <laughs> one bowl. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Because you come over, bring your own shit. Bring your own shit. Bring your own shit. Keep two and be a good host. Right? <laughs> yes, keep two. If you need more than that, sorry. You're going to have to wash. Right? Bring your own. Bring your own. Bring your own plate. Oh, my God. I know. It's kind of funny. Okay. So what is up with the hair dryer? Okay. What? Like, you can't. Your hair is not poofy. There's a hair dryer brush. I, again, I saw a commercial. I saw an ad for a hair dryer brush. Please God, let her read a book. Right? It's a hair <laughs> it's a hair dryer brush. And and I thought, wow, look at that. A hair dryer brush. Yeah. Is it like seen on TV? Yeah. Seen as as yeah. seen on TV yeah. kind of crap? Like that. I don't know if it's kind of crap, but it's like as seen on TV. Really? Yeah. I and dare you to order it. No, I are you kidding me? I'm I'm not ordering it. I'm not crazy. <laughs> but don't you think that would just like doesn't that just handle all your hair dressing needs? No. 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 You don't think it would? No. Well, don't talk about my hair right now because it's big and puffy. <laughs> it is too. No. Yes, it barely fit in the car. Oh my god! I'm like, oh <laughs> Don't. my god, guys, that's a really big exaggeration of what her hair looks no, like right now. <laughs> it's really big, friends. It's really, but it's getting cut next week. It's getting cut next week. Oh, <laughs> if I can make it till then. <sighs> yeah. Hey, but you do? Do you know that the children of Saskatoon or the students? I'm gonna assume as like a bunch of high schoolers or university yeah. students. They got a little cray cray last weekend. No, I didn't hear about it. The Saskatoon police apparently broke up a noisy 300 people block party. Wow. Yeah. And the, these people, some of them, whoever they were, some of them threw shit at the police. Well, that's not smart. You don't think you're going to get yeah, that's never in good. trouble? That's never good. Hey? They, they arrested one guy. Yeah. So they should. Yeah. And I'm so like, you're should. dumb. So you know what? <laughs> okay. So I'm making conversation with, with Jersey, right? Yeah. And I tell him this and he's like, oh, he goes, uh. Is that your entire population? Uh, did your entire population go to that party? 300 people. And I was like, you did not just insult where I live. Wow. You did not just he insult did where I live. He did too. And I mean, he's like, he, he, he's laughing at him like, that's not funny. Not funny. That's not funny. Not funny. He's like, well, it's not very big. And so then we argued about enough. how big Saskatoon is. Big enough. We have over 250,000 people yeah. living in Saskatoon. Yeah, that's pretty big. It's pretty big. Pretty darn big. Yeah. It's not 300 people. Right. I and was I, like, and I get it, it's not New York City. No, but I was just like, you shut up. That's funny. Shut up. Yeah, you shut your, <laughs> you shut your mouth. You shut your you mouth. Shut your mouth, Jersey. <laughs> okay, but another fun thing about, and I didn't know this, and I saw the show. I saw the. I didn't see the show, but I heard. I saw like a brief part of it. Apparently, the Saskatoon police placed third in a lip sync contest. Yeah. 
I heard that. And they sang the song, I Want It That Way, by the Backstreet Boys. Apparently, they're quite good. Yeah, it was funny. I know. I watched a clip of it. It was pretty good. Should we do lip sync? No. 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 Bring That's the wrong. HHG in? Uh, no. 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 Not interested. I'm good. You're good? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we have, maybe we're very skillful. You don't think it. so? Okay. I do This kind of goes back to my Kelly Clarkson rant. Uh-oh. So, well, she does say a lot. But I'm bringing it up now. Okay. Does the word, and I, and I got to be careful because I know that it's a big word. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to offend. You, you, uh, I'm trying not to offend. Is there a better word we could come up with? I feel like the church lady right now. Is there a better word, Samantha, <laughs> than we could come up with than y'all? Because Kelly Clarkson has killed it for y'all. <laughs> she killed it. I never minded it before. She says it a lot. She has killed it for y'all, right? <laughs> oh, she's a y'all coach. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know. There's, I don't think so. Can we ban it? You all. You all. Y'all. I like y'all. Y'all come back now, here. Yeah, but but <laughs> but she's killed it. She, it's a very southern thing. I know that, but now she's... And she's from, like, Texas or Tennessee? I, I, or? And I get that, right? So I understand that it's near and dear, mm-hmm. but then they need to they need to muzzle her. <laughs> they, cause they're, no, they don't. Yes, they do. Cause no. they, yes, they, yes, they do. They're, she's killing it. <laughs> she's killing it for them. Like, I don't, like, ah, uh, oh, that's nails on the chalkboard, y'all. Right? I'm just saying, that's, she's killing it. She's just, just killing it. Right? Uh huh. Um, here's something interesting, and your boyfriend, I wonder if he knows about this. Apparently, the Philadelphia Eagles, Uh right? That's a football team, Samantha. Uh huh. Um, when they kick off their opening season, Uh they're, 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 they're doing it with the shamrock shakes. From McDonald's? Yeah, McDonald's and, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Why? Probably because it's green. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But oh. guess what? Huh. Who says no, 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 no? This girl. A shamrock shake does not need to be brought out for football season. Does not need to be brought out for the Philadelphia Eagles. They need to bring the shamrock shake out only at shamrock shake time. Don't start screwing around. Is that in- March? That's for St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Yes. So don't start screwing around and bringing it out for a football game. Right? If the Philadelphia Eagles need that much help... <laughs> And I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. Because I didn't see them in the Super Bowl last couple don't. years. Don't. They need... no, last year. The year before they won, Lisa. Oh, that's right. And then they didn't make it again. Yeah, that's Shut right. Shut up. They didn't repeat. You, you know who's coming after you so now. So maybe the Shamrock Shake is the, is the secret weapon. No. I'm just saying, oh, my God. Oh, he's man. in a fantasy football league, too. Is he? Yeah. It's a, It's a fantasy. It's a fantasy. Uh, I'm just saying. Okay. But right. you know what I did here? Tell me. And it really made me, it really made my day the day that I heard this. What? When Chrissy Teigen, after being called a filthy mouthed person, wife. Which she admitted your, she was. Keep your filthy wife mouth, mouthed wife away from me, or I don't know what he said. And I say, he said as in Trump. <laughs> Chrissy Teigen came back with, fine, you pussy ass bitch. I know, right? <laughs> I know. And no offense, brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. <laughs> and I love the fact that she she don't care. No. She just don't care. She don't care. A lot of people gave her, I think she's getting a lot of backlash. Maybe. Because they feel that she's being disrespectful to the, to the president. Yeah. Like the office, the yes. idea of yes. what the president should stand yes. for. And I get it. Ish. Ugh. Ish. But <laughs> when I was talking to Jersey about this, and I said it's brilliant. And then now <laughs> that's what we're we're calling each other a PAB. Are there you being you a PAB right there now? You go. And, and he's like, No, you are. And I'm like, Okay, I'm just saying. It kind of sounds like yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I think she owns whatever comes out of her mouth. I think she does. And She's I, that you know, girl. if we don't have freedom of speech, yeah. What's the point? Exactly. Then keep it to yourself. Yeah. If you're not allowed to actually say what you want to say, yeah. Then that's not called freedom. No. And if we don't have freedom to to be interested enough to buy the Gotham steel pan, seriously? Yes. 
then you know what? What people, is the Gotham Steel? Then pen? people need to shut their. Is mouth. this something else you've seen on TV? I bought. The I Gotham, really feel I like ordered this the is... Gotham Steel. Pen. You did not. I did too. I did. Too. It's been. Ta- I've been looking at it for years. Okay. So what does it do, Lisa? Uh, it makes things not melt. Makes them no. Makes things not stick. Doesn't stick. Things don't stick to the. Pen. You don't have a pan in your household that does that? Not that the Gotham that. Steel no. pan. Not no. the Gotham. No. Not not the Gotham one. <laughs> no. No. So it's on its way. Serious? Yeah. And how much did you pay for this pan? I don't know. It wasn't expensive. Like, I might have been only like 30 bucks. But you got two. Yeah. And I'm excited for does it. Does your husband know? Mm hmm. He, he, he does. He does know. Is it a good idea? Um, in hindsight, probably not my smartest idea. <laughs> because we do have, remember, we have $700 pots and yes, pans. Yes, you do. Right? So what the hell do you need this for? Because the commercial for it is so cool. Like, you can take a red Solo cup and you can melt it on the Gotham Steel pan and it doesn't melt. It doesn't stick. You can take a hard candy <laughs> and melt it. I could take, like, like your water bottle and melt it and it's not going to stick. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wait till I do that. Wait till I no, get it. No, don't do that. I'm going to. As you burn down your apartment building. I, do, I bought it to try all these things. No. Yes, I no. did. That's what I did. Oh, my God. That's... I'm going to tell your husband. No. He, uh, whatever. <laughs> he's going to take it away from me. No, <laughs> I know. He's going to intercept it. And he's going to say it never came. I guarantee. Uh, okay. But why are you breaking in a new pillow? What was wrong with your old ones? No, because it was not right. My It was not. It was... It was making my head, how do you explain it? It was making my head feel like it was potentially going to get a headache. Your old pillow. Yep. Yep. So it had lived its full life. Oh, well, it lived, it's, it lived enough of its life. (laughs) And then it was just, um, and then it was just time to move on. It was time to move on. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So now you have a new pillow. I have a new pillow that I love (laughs) only if it's in a certain position though. If it's like if it's been flipped the wrong way or Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. So it's like training a puppy. Are you serious? Yeah. Flipped the wrong if it's way. It's flipped the wrong way, it's not good. Really? Yeah. Not good. Okay. But here's the thing, right? On a pillow, how do you remember? You don't know which way. So when you make the bed, you just take the pillows off and then you don't uh and then you gotta go through all that. So dear pillows, <laughs> they need to come up with like an up and a down, like a like a like a sign. <laughs> A top and a bottom? A top and a bottom. Even though they're exactly the same? No, but they're not exactly the same. Yes, they not, are. Not once your head's been on them. Yes. No. Yes. No. They're different that oh way. Oh, my God. I'm just saying. Okay. I know. All right. I'm just saying, Samantha. Okay. But there's something new, again, with the new in and your I'm life. Not, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> and you're not going to get one. I'm not going to so get one. So the fact that you are tell you're, you want me to talk about it means that you're obsessing about it already. I'm not. I'm mad about it. <laughs> the DQ has come or has come out with cotton candy dipped ice cream. No, here's my issue. Don't mess around with the cotton candy. Right? You'd still try it. I wouldn't try it. Yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. No. Because what does cotton candy taste like other than the fact that it tastes like sugar? It tastes like heaven. It's sugar. It's fluffy heaven. Yeah, but how? Mm, no. Yeah. That's not even a flavor. No, oh, yeah, it's like it's, it's not a flavor. It, it, well, you make it a flavor. There's like blueberry, <laughs> raspberry. There's different flavors depending on what type of stuff they put in them. <laughs> I don't think I would try it. I think you know what? I saw it and I'm like, why you gotta mess around with the cotton candy? Well, that is near and dear to your heart. Leave the cotton candy alone. And you're probably never gonna eat cotton candy again. <laughs> probably never, never. That I know for sure. With the diabetes, that is probably never happening, right? Which is fine. <laughs> I haven't had cotton candy in a few years, so I'm okay with that. Well, you haven't had good stuff. Mm -mm. No, so I'm okay without it. But, okay, here's something interesting, Uh and I haven't bought it yet, but but I'm being taunted on Facebook. Oh, of course. By a sweater. From where? Because it's all, I don't know, like a place nobody's heard of. Because it's almost sweater weather, right? <laughs> it's sweater weather. Yeah. And <laughs> and and I love this sweater so so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it's uh, like a cardigan sweater, uh-huh. and it's like a thick thick cable knit, uh-huh. and it's got buttons, uh-huh. and I love it. Then buy it. Oh, I don't know. You ha- you got really lucky with those China shoes. I know, but can you always get lucky? No. <laughs> no, that's the problem, right? It's only twenty six dollars. I think you should try uh, it. I'm like, I this see. is this is <laughs> this is your new your new thing while you're at home convalescing. I'm like the HHG on the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> only I'm on the cheap. I think yeah, I'm on to, the cheap Facebook site. You need to see if this shit's real. You just order it all. Just order. Yeah. 
And I really like it. <laughs> Right, it's got like two pockets, <laughs> and the girls wearing jeans, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, and your boots, right? Like, how stylish would you be? I know, right? 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 It's taunting me. Oh, I don't know. I think you should do it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But you know, the fact that we're even thinking about sweater weather, yeah, because you know why? Oh, dear Mother Nature, you, it's it's late fall. Why are you being a bitch? Thing is, is that she had she didn't even make like like um. Like it'd be nice. It just went to cool. It went from it went from spring wasn't too bad. Yeah. It was kind of warm to there was a hint of summer, and yet there were a few some warm days. And all of a sudden, bam! Right back to rain. Bam, bam. Yeah, like today's sunny, so it looks like a nice fall day. <laughs> it's fall, but it's fall, right? <laughs> we didn't even have a summer. No, there was no summer. People are cranky. I know. There was no summer. No, and you know what? Here's something interesting. The Farmer's Almanac, this is how they're describing this upcoming winter. Ready? Uh-huh. When they use the words freezing, frigid, and what's the other? Frosty. <laughs> Nothing good's coming from <laughs> Nothing that. Nothing good is coming. Nothing good is coming from freezing, oh frigid, God. and frosty. No. Right? No. 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 Sounds like my grade two teacher. Yeah. 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 Frigid. Freezing and frosty. Frosty. That's what they're saying. For the prairies. <laughs> For the prairies. Because you know what? Because this is what I think. Mother Nature, she upset. At uh, what? She's mad. At uh, what? Because we're we're abusing her. She's been abused for a long time. I know. Ugh. But we got to do better. I don't know. This is why we've had a horrible summer. Because it was a bad summer. There's a couple nice weeks. Are you kidding? My sister doesn't even remember seeing the sunshine. She really? was in Grand Prairie. Yeah. But I heard there was a few nice weeks. No. No, Mike said there was a couple. Nah. Yeah. Maybe you were in Ottawa then. I don't know where he was, but there know. was nothing. Was here. it nice when you were in New Jersey? I mean, no. No. It rained the whole time. Nice, <laughs> nice. That's nice weather. So everywhere I, it's me. It's everywhere you. Everywhere I went, there was rain. Dear Mother Nature, just because you hate Sam doesn't mean you got to hate everybody else. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking, right? That's nice. And then, you know what? This is what I think. Is like, is she permanently just cranky? Well, because we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. What does she want us to do? Like, I didn't get she, the memo. She wants us to do more of these things. Conserve water. Mm-hmm. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Yes. Use re- re- use reusable bags uh-huh. when you grocery shop. People are trying all these things. Okay. You need to get energy efficient bulbs. Yes, which we do. Right. You need to choose non toxic chemicals to like clean your house. Yes, which we do. So stop taking this shit out on me. But have you planted a tree? I have not planted a tree. There you go. There's your downfall. Well, where am I planting a tree? I don't know. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Right? Not everybody can just plant a friggin' tree. Dear Mother Nature, you make no sense. (laughs) Dear Mother Nature. Have pity. (laughs) This is what I wonder, dear Mother Nature. Do you have a calendar? Like, do you think she owns a calendar so she can see that, okay, now it's still supposed to be nice? No. 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 You don't think so? I don't think so. Dear Mother Nature, time to get your meds adjusted. <gasps> uh-huh. I said it. I said it. I think she, she heard that, and now we're we're in. We're I'm in just it. I'm saying. And we're going to get bombarded. We're going to have snow by the end of September. Then she won't like that. that. Then she won't like this. Dear Mother Nature, do you like being hated? <laughs> Most people don't like being hated. They don't want to walk around <laughs> being hated. Mother Nature's hated. <laughs> right? Yeah, pretty much. Like when fuck you, Mother Nature, is what you say in the morning when you look out the window. <laughs> that's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. Right? That's not a good sign. <laughs> I don't know, Samantha. I definitely am happy that today turned around because the sun is actually out. The sun is out, but it's not nice. It's supposed to be nice for the weekend. Oh, yay. That's I don't know what that looks like, though. I don't know what nice means. Like, like fall nice. Mm-hmm. Right? So it's still sweater. Yeah, sweater weather. Still long sleeve. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, when you got socks on? Yes. Do you? Yeah, I do. I do have socks I on. I don't have any on. I have socks on. I'm trying to push in. Well, I think... No, never mind. No. The oh. inside of this shoe kind of rubs on my foot. Oh, because you bought your new shoes and they don't fit you right? No, they they fit me. They shouldn't rub. That's not the right <laughs> fit. I'll take the ones that rub, please. That's not what people say when they get Shut new shoes. Up. I'm just saying that's not... Shut up. That's not what people say. How did we go from Mother Nature to talking about my shoe? I'm just saying... <laughs> I'm just saying, Samantha, that's not the criteria. I want them to hurt my back and to rub. They don't hurt my back. No, but they rub. Yeah. Where do they rub? No, it's just that because they're suede, I have to get used to the feeling uh-huh. of the suede. Okay. You s- go with that. Yeah. Go with that. Are they rubbing on your bunion? No. No, they're just rubbing. They're just, no. So you're, so you're wearing a little socket. I'm wearing a socket. Oh, okay. 
Huh. Don't be that person right now. I won't be. You have like a smirk on I'm your face. I'm not going to be there. I'm not going to do it. There'll be enough. There'll be plenty of time. <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for me to do that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I think. Uh huh. So I don't know. That's all my issues with Mother Nature is I think that she's out to lunch. Well, fall has already come and mm-hmm. fall isn't yet till the 21st of September. Like, that's why I said, like, do you think she has a calendar? Yes. No. And she's saying, I don't give a shit. Well, she needs to. You've, you've pissed me off and this is what's happening. She can't go around being mad at everybody. Well, here's hoping. I'm just saying. But right. winter is going to suck. Winter's going to suck. Winter's going to suck. Frosty and frigid. <laughs> Right? You're going to need boots. I'm not wearing boots. I'm not wearing boots when I go back to work. <laughs> yes, you No, are. I'm not. I promise you. Oh, my God. I'm not wearing oh boots. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm just saying. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Huh? That's all I got to say about that. All right. All right. Lisa. Samantha. Ask them. Guys, here's what we need from you. It's our call to action. <laughs> That's like my own. Really? <laughs> my own music that's bad i know yeah but it's not taken I don't, I don't think it's taken no i don't think so right? that's our call to action music so don't. whenever it's time for call to action <laughs> that's what it means don't. okay and and this is what we need from you guys we need from our friends of the podcast to share our to share our stuff uh-huh let people know that what who we are and what we do yes right i but, think that would be great what else we need more peoples. We want more friends. We want more friends. We need a few more friends. Share us. Yeah. Share what we do. If you if you think if you think that we make you laugh and you think you know somebody that would find us funny, just let them know. Let them know. Right. Let's do this. Invite them to the group. <laughs> right. Invite them to the world of crazy. <laughs> right. Because that's all we want to do. Right. Is be the least uh, stressful part of somebody's day. Yeah. And now I think we're getting into like the fall, which then goes to the Christmas and it's stressful times. So yep. I think I think I shake my head if Lisa and Sam is needed. Yep. That's all I'm saying. Absolutely. All right. Lisa. Samantha. Do you have an I shake my head? Oh, my goodness. I do. I'm bitching about food. Uh Oh, I'm you know what? Here's my issue. You know, the oatmeal packages that yes. you buy in yes. the box. Mm-hmm. OK, not enough to feed an adult. Hey, <laughs> so I I don't mind those for for my breakfast. OK, right. But one doesn't fill me up because there's barely enough for a baby. <laughs> right. And two, that's just too much. That's gluttony. That's being a big old pig. That's gluttony. Right? It's being a big old pig. You don't need to eat two. Right? Okay. But why can't they make one that's like one and a half? That right? would just be too easy. I'm just saying. So every morning when I have one, I'm just like mad at the box and then I shake my head. I'm just like, you know what, dear Quaker Oats? I shake my head at you because you could just be, you could have a little more substance in there. Huh. Uh-huh. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Do you ever eat them? I did a long time ago. Yeah. One doesn't do it. No. 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 Because it's barely for a baby. Right? It's what the baby would eat. <laughs> it's what the baby would eat. Not a grown-ass adult. Okay. All right? All right. That's my I shake my head. What about you? <sighs> my I shake my head woke me up at 830 this morning. Oh, no. Yes. You know what? I'm kind of shaking my head at my management company that runs my apartment building. Okay. You got to warn a person. Yeah. Like you should get like a note under your door. Yeah. Yeah. Like the city was nice. They gave us a, a like a week warning that they were going to pave the back alley that yeah. I live by and it would take two days. Yeah. So you would need to move your car for two days. Right. Plenty of time. Nobody told me there's Nothing somebody like was going to climb on the roof wow. and bang, bang away at 830 in the morning. No. See? And I'm just like, not on my day off, bitches. And they did. And they did. Yeah, of course it's got to be on your day off, right? Always got to be on your day Always off. Always on my day off. It's like they knew, right? Ah, uh, <laughs> let's do Thursday because Sam's off. Yeah, because I just need a little warning. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. A little bit of warning. A little bit of warning. Yeah. I would shake my head at that. I think they start too soon. Yeah. Can you wait? Like, wait till nine. What's half an hour? Yeah, like at least nine. Nothing should happen before nine. I agree. Yeah. I agree. It's with a that civilized too. hour. Yeah. Right? That's how it should be, Samantha. Nine. Nine o'clock. Uh, right? I was going to mention the fact that Jersey was a bit of a jerk today. <laughs> he mansplained my laptop to me and I'm not happy. And he wasn't happy with us last week either. And I wasn't happy. Right? Because he was mad at us, wasn't he? <laughs> right? We weren't making friends. Oh, but you know, uh, through the whole process, he's like, you didn't know what you were doing. And I'm like, I still know how to work a computer, but you didn't really know. So you had to ask me and don't be a PAB. And I'm like, oh, shut up. Don't mansplain. <laughs> right? How about that? Uh, right? <laughs> how about that? Uh, it yeah. was a very interesting exchange. Yeah, I'm sure it was, Samantha. 
All right, topic next week. Fall TV anticipation. We're looking forward. Are we sure? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait and see. Do we have enough for every day of the week? I'm not sure. I know. We have to figure that out. I'm going to PVR. That's when I know what I'm going to yeah, do. Yeah, that'll be the way to go. Right? All right, Lisa? Samantha. Okay. So, friends of the podcast, you're already listening to podcasts, so why not listen on PodCoin? Go to www.podcoin.com. They pay you to listen. Woo! It makes sense. It only makes sense. It does make sense. And most times we're a bonus episode, so they give you even more things, more coins to listen. <laughs> we're bonusable. We're bonusable. So, you know, use us for something, guys. <laughs> and if you want to buy our merchandise, go to www.ishakemyhead.threadless.com. We got mugs, we got tote bags, uh, apparently we got pants. <laughs> oh, don't. My Maybe I'll get some leggings. My mother's threatening. Hey? I know. I think we should get your mom a pair for Christmas. <laughs> right? Maybe I need some leggings. <laughs> I with Lisa and Sam Nobody on it. Nobody needs our face on legs. <laughs> right? It's not it's not pretty, but we have like t-shirts Mugs. and I think we have some hoodies mm-hmm. and lots of different things. Yep. And if you want to support the podcast because you love it, Yay. you can go to Patreon, www.patreon.com slash I shake my head. And we know we do still owe a few people things. They're coming. Just takes time because we gotta order them. Yes. Right. So, so you're gonna get your stuff. We appreciate everybody that does support the podcast. Absolutely. You can also go to Podbean and you can support the podcast through Podbean too. Yep. When you listen to the podcast on Podbean and you see Sam's face, there's a little red bag over top of it. Punch it. Give it a punch. And uh, for as little as two dollars, you can help support the podcast. Yeah. Okay, and we'd like to thank Audio Editing Solutions for making it sound so good. Um, he's a very patient man, and uh, he thinks we're well worth the effort. <laughs> Um, and also, you guys, you can check us out on any social media. We have a Twitter, a Facebook, and an Instagram account. It's just type in I Shake My Head, and there we are. There we are. Join us, because, you know, Lisa will talk to you on Twitter. Yeah. I don't like it. You are not a Twitter Because I'm not good with, like, I There's, feel... Um, you feel restricted. I feel restricted. Because you only have 280 <laughs> characters. And you're good with that. I know, which is which is, makes no sense. It should be the opposite, right? <laughs> Yeah. Um, and we do Instagram and we do Facebook and we have our group. So please join us and interact with us because we love that. Absolutely. Anything else, Samantha? No, I'm good. Huh. You're full. Belly's full. Belly's full. Right? You peed. I peed. You peed. <laughs> Belly's full. You should be okay. I'm good. Right? We fed and water Jeff. No. And you too. And me too. <laughs> All right, Samantha, then. Yeah. I think I've had enough of you for I one think, day. I think so. All right. Uh, guess what? Always a pleasure. Yeah, it should be. Mm. This was a podcast from the Podfix Network. You can check out more shows like it at podfixnetwork.com.